Today's question I want to answer is what to say. In the light of the Holy Ghost being God in the earth today, it being His dispensation and the only God that we walk with in the earth, and the way that we walk with Him is by saying words, the question will arise to you if it hasn't already, well then what do I say? If I'm going to walk with God in the earth today, what do I say? Well, the number one thing you could be saying is speaking in tongues a lot. I encourage people to speak in tongues at least one hour a day. In that way, you'll be able, you're able to speak even beyond your own intellect and understanding and you're speaking His words. It's his language, his words, and that is the, the, one of the greatest things you can do. But beyond that, what do I say in my own language? A lot of people get tripped up here. First of all, they don't think it could be that simple that this is how I walk with God is by saying words. But other people would say, well, then I feel like I'm in bondage. If I have to watch every word that I say, I feel like I'm being in bondage. I had this one friend for a while there. I guess we're not friends anymore anyway, but he said, yeah, he used to be word of faith. Well, I used to be word of faith, but I felt like I was in bondage because I always had to watch what I say. Well, to him, I say, you're already in bondage and you don't even know. Proverbs 18, 21 says, death and life are in the power of the tongue and if you're speaking death or you're not uh, willing to control what comes out of your mouth you're already in bondage chapter 6 verse 2 says thou art taken captive by the words of thy mouth another word for taken captive would be in bondage so people that aren't watching what they say now listen to me people that aren't watching what they say and controlling the words that come out of their mouth in order to walk with God are already in bondage the Bible doesn't call this bondage what I'm talking about today the Bible calls this freedom but where the Spirit is Lord there is freedom while well, the Spirit being Lord over your life you're going to have to learn how to walk with him and be trained in the things that you say so that you could be truly free Matthew chapter 6 6, verse 31 therefore take no thought say this is Jesus talking and if you were to ask him what do I say or what don't I say here's Jesus giving you a, a really good indication he's saying take no thought don't take that thought and don't say it therefore take no thought saying what shall we eat or what shall we drink or wherewithal shall we be clothed for after all these things do the Gentiles seek for your heavenly father knows that you have need of all these things but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you so people are oftentimes they'll be tempted to say something negative about what am I gonna do what am I gonna eat where am I gonna do this how am I gonna do that I mean that's, we're in this natural world and there's all these things that press us on a daily basis so Jesus is instructing you to take not those thoughts and say what are we gonna do where am I gonna get it how is this gonna come to pass don't take those thoughts verse but, 33 says but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness or how he does things so you're gonna take thoughts saying the kingdom of God you take no thought saying what are we gonna do we take the thought and say the kingdom of God we say the righteousness of God and if you know anything about the righteousness of God the righteousness of faith speaks what does it speak it speaks the word so you're not gonna say those things but you are going to take those thoughts and you are going to say what the kingdom of God says about it well my God supplies all my need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus so you look at your checking uh, account or you look at your wallet and there doesn't seem to be enough money in there what do you say what thought do you take when the first thought that comes to your head is I don't have enough how am I gonna pay for this what are we gonna eat what are we gonna wear right we're gonna take that thought no we're, we're not gonna take that thought or say it we're going to take the thought that comes from the kingdom of God which is the righteousness of faith which speaks the word and we're gonna say my God supplies all my need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus how do you like that checkbook how do you like that wallet my God supplies all my need that's the thought you take and that's how you walk with God saying take thoughts saying the kingdom of God and take thoughts that say the kingdom of righteousness or the righteousness of faith and then all things 
remember what he said there and all these things shall be added unto you which to me just speaks in volumes very loud that this is how all things from the kingdom of God work this is how all things from the kingdom of God come to you it's by the same method by taking the thought saying the kingdom of God and if you're not gonna say the kingdom of God you're not gonna speak the words of righteousness of faith then you can't have all the things that God has for you and has provided for you now there's a huge learning curve here it doesn't just happen overnight you got to apply yourself just like you'd apply yourself to anything in learning something new it's new at first you aren't naturally just gonna go when you look at your wallet and there's nothing in there go ah, I have abundance and no lack my God supplies all my needs what are you first gonna do you're probably gonna mess up you're probably gonna struggle with it for a while and you'll think it's bondage oh I'm in bondage I can't say these negative things that I want to say well the negative things you've been saying are the things that are keeping you in bondage the positive things that you're saying according to the word are the things that set you free so there's a learning curve you practice you get better at it it's a discipline remember we're called disciples it's a discipline you got to discipline your tongue to say the right thing and not say the wrong thing by thy words thou shalt be justified and by thy words thou shalt be condemned so the object here is to be more justified and less condemned right how are we going to do that by our words what words justify you the righteousness of faith speaking God's Word what words condemn you the words that are not in line with God's Word so you can be more justified or less justified you can be more condemned or less condemned it's up to you the power is in your own mouth and in your own tongue the better you get at this the better you get at walking with God how do you walk with God by saying his words Amos chapter 3 3 says what how can two walk together except they be agreed to be agreed means to say the same thing so really when you're saying God's Word you're saying the same thing that he's saying and therefore you're walking with God speaking so what do we say then that's the question we're trying to answer you need to be saying things that are in line with God's Word second Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 20 for all the promises of God in him are yea and in him amen under the glory of God by us what's yea and amen all the promises so what are we gonna say then all the promises pick out the scriptures that you need and plant those deep within you and say them all right so what do we say all the promises you say that all the promises of God are in him yes what does that mean that means God's not saying no to this promise if you find a promise and, you, and you're gonna believe God for it what has God already said he's already said yes in him are yes and in him amen amen means so be it who says the so be it we say the so be it meaning here's the promise of God he's already said yes to it then we say so be it unto me let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause yay let them say continually let the Lord be magnified which has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant and my tongue shall speak of thy righteousness and of thy praise once on Sunday morning and maybe once on Wednesday night no this says and of thy praise all the day long let them say continually the Lord be magnified which has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant how are you serving him by saying continually I want to serve God I want to serve God I want to serve God well this is how you serve God you say his word continually continually what's that mean well let's read on here my tongue shall speak of thy righteousness remember the righteousness of faith speaks my tongue shall speak of thy righteousness and of thy praise all the day long well I don't want to do it all day that's bondage the Spirit of God doesn't call the Bible bondage he calls it freedom and you've never been so free until you've learned to put his word in your mouth where you can flow with him in the spirit and all the great promises of God begin to collect and come to you in a row it's wonderful oh give thanks unto the Lord for he is good and his mercy endures forever is that something good to say sure how often ought you to say that all day long I say it all day long 
all day long every day every day all day long Psalms 107 verse 2 let the redeemed of the Lord say so whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy well are you the redeemed of the Lord have you been bought with a price did Jesus pay for your sin sickness and poverty yes yes and yes well you're supposed to say so what's your job as a servant of the Lord continually is to say so his job was to do it and to bring redemption to you now your job is to say so right you say the amen to God's yes he said yes you're redeemed I say amen or so be it unto me my job to walk with God in this 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 bargain that we have together and walking with him is for me to say his word and I've said this so many times but I'll say it again if you're saying God's word you're walking with God if you're not saying God's word you're not walking with God it's it's as simple as that well I want to walk with God more then you need to say his word more let the redeemed of the Lord say so whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy he's already redeemed you now you have to say I am redeemed well this thing's bothering me and it doesn't seem like I'm redeemed from poverty well you need to say so more or I, I seem to have this 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 devil that keeps bothering me all the time well you're not redeemed from devils yeah you're redeemed from devils you need to say that you're redeemed from devils and tell them to get out of there you say devil I am redeemed from your bondage get out of my body get out of my mind get out of my finances let the redeemed of the Lord say so if you're not saying so you're not doing your part and therefore you're the one limiting God he's not limiting you his word setting you free let's look at Joshua Joshua had a big job to do because Moses had just left and put him in charge of all these these people half of which if not more than half are complainers and he's like what am I gonna do what am I gonna do what am I gonna do he says do not say what are we gonna do take no thought saying how am I gonna do this what am I gonna do which way am I gonna go this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth if it's not out of your mouth where is it it's in your mouth this book of the law is not going to depart out of your mouth but thou shalt meditate therein how often day and night now the word meditate is a little bit blind to us it means to mutter it means to mutter louder and louder faster and faster with more frequency that's what this means it doesn't mean meditate home um no that's not the word in your mouth he said the word needs to be in your mouth and you need to be saying it muttering it you ever seen somebody mutter to themselves oh so I'm gonna, uh, what am I gonna do what am I gonna do ring in the hands <laughs> what am I gonna do well no that's the opposite of this you're gonna be saying the Lord is my shepherd I shall not you're gonna be muttering it day and night this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth but thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous and then thou shalt have good success prosperity and success is in the Bible deal with it and who's gonna who's gonna get the prosperity and the success the person who mutters and says and declares and speaks God's righteousness of faith day and night if you want to walk with God you've got to walk with God by saying his words and if you're not saying his words you're not walking with God well what do I say then you say all the promises uh, Romans chapter 10 let's look at verse 6 but the righteousness which is of faith speaks what does the righteousness of faith do it speaks it's not silent it's not there is no such thing as a silent faith faith speaks if you want Bible faith but the righteousness which is of faith speaks on this wise I love that how he does it he goes this is what it says don't say this he says but the righteousness which is of faith speaks on this wise say not in thy heart who shall ascend into heaven that is to bring Christ down from above or who shall descend into the deep that is to bring Christ up again from the dead now that's also a little bit blind to us it really means Jesus you gotta come down here and do something for me or you gotta be raised from the dead again and do something for me he says don't say that and you can see that Jesus isn't gonna do that anyway for you he's already done it 
so the righteousness of faith is gonna not gonna say Jesus come do something it's gonna say Jesus already did it for me that's the righteousness of faith it's done it's a finished work my healing is finished my prosperity is finished my call is finished everything I need is already provided for me now I've got to learn how to walk with God by speaking in faith and speaking his word but verse 8 but what saith it so it's not going to say those things but what saith it the word what does the righteousness of faith speak it speaks the word and it specifically it speaks the promises of God what saith it the word it's nigh thee even in thy mouth and in thy heart that is the word of faith which we preach verse 10 for with the heart man believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto so the confession is what carries you all the way to the manifestation you got to say God's Word and you do it night and day the servant of the Lord says continually let the Lord be magnified which has pleasure in the prosperity of me his servant this is how you walk with God well what do I say you say his word Hebrews chapter 5 verse 13 for everyone that uses milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness or he is a babe unskilled in the word of righteousness makes you a baby now you nobody wants to stay a baby you want to become full grown you want to become a powerful person in the spirit well there's only one way to do that is to become skillful and more skilled on a different level more and more and more better and better skilled in the word of righteousness the word of righteousness what is that it is speaking in faith what god's word already said about you